Okay, hello everybody that decides to take a minute and check out this old Dodge. Well, first of all, when you buy a Dodge and you pull the dipstick out of the transmission, it's got about a quart and a half too much in it. it tells you two things. Some feller out there has put Lucas in it. And probably about a half a quart of brake fluid. Who knows? Maybe some sawdust. I don't know. But the Lucas don't bother me because I believe in it. Especially on a Dodge. Sorry to all you Dodge lovers. But that little thing on the back of the bottle that says it's perfectly okay to uh, overfill your transmission, it's perfectly not. Uh, not at all. So, therefore, you're going to need a couple things to get a quart of this trans fluid out of there. They make a differential pump. You can get it at Harbor Freight. It's got a little plastic thing you stick on there and you just dunk it right down in that tube right there where it says transmission fluid. Can't mess this up neither because it won't fit down this one. Anyway, you dunk it right down that tube and you hook it up to an air compressor and you just pump it out of there. It's easy as it can be. I don't like easy stuff. Another thing I'm going to have to address sooner or later, somebody, you know, this thing only gets up to about 130 degrees, but the engine, when you shut it off, makes some funny sounds, like tink, tink, tink. So that tells me it's getting hotter than 130 degrees. So I'm thinking they probably damaged the terminals or something on the temperature sensor, which is right down in the middle of uh, nowhere ever. Yeah, it's probably underneath the probably underneath that uh, rotating mechanism that charges your battery back up. If you want to be technical, you can call it an alternator. I call it another huge malfunction of Dodge. Pretty much the entire electrical systems are junk on these, but it's okay. I know there's some Chevy guys out there that can give me a little bit on the chevys too but anyway i like the way this truck sounds and i got it you know cheap so worst case scenario i'm gonna take it out and blow it up that'll be another video if you make it through this video we're going to show you the the dog i got matches this truck she comes with it if you decide to buy it her name's kovu she does tricks so if you decide to buy the truck just you know go down there and type her in there you know your email address or something and we'll mail the truck and the dog to you she's a good dog she she barks a lot but she's a good dog so anyway make it to the end of the video and we'll we'll do a dog trick how about that so i'm going to take the less professional way about getting this transmission fluid out of here i know everybody's thinking he's dropping the pan I'm not brave enough to drop the transmission pan on a 200,000 mile Dodge that's probably on its third transmission that looks like this inside. This is not my dirt, people. The guy explained to me that they had the windows tinted and then left it set out in the sun, and I guess AutoZone tent didn't really work out very good, so it pretty much melted to the glass. It's okay. Some gasoline, match. Take that right off of there. Anyway, the dash in this baby, it don't have no cracks in it, as you can see. Most of you guys that get these trucks, you got dashes all in your, you know, cracks all in your dash. Not this one. This one has some little red stuff here holding it together so it don't vibrate all day long. This is also a few busted lens back there. You can just tape that over it so you don't get a ticket. And over yonder over here, if you need to open a, a can or something, you got the can opener built right into the cup holder. It couldn't be any more creative than that. It, it totally prevents this thing from opening. But whatever. It's fine. Down here is always your jewelry box. I always like looking in the jewelry box anytime I buy anything because this is normally where you find the parts that are supposed to be on the truck. And then like in here, you always get surprises. This one here did come with a handy little round gasket. 
Don't need that. Uh, it come with the Clarion radio in it. Probably worth more than the truck. These uh, Clarions are pretty fancy. Pretty fancy fancy. Don't need that. Here's a receipt. Receipts normally narc people out. Especially when they lie and say, I did not put a quart of Lucas in it and a pint of brake fluid. And you find a receipt for a quart of Lucas and a pint of brake fluid. Here's the old person's registration. I better keep that. I might need that if I get pulled over. Considering it's still got his license plate on it. Boy. Underneath the, the baby booster. It's not bad. Uh, the headliner. I got a couple cigarette burns in it. I was always uh, kind of curious as to how that happened. But whatever. It does have a big old uh, fancy schmancy stinker of the trucker upper in it. So I don't know what to do about that either. Uh oh. I haven't found the evidence. Somebody has been drinking and driving in this truck. Jesus. I don't do that. Look at that. That's just the best window tent ever. But this thing's speedometer here is off about 120 mile an hour too, but it's more like 10. I'm pretty sure it needs a cluster. I think they put the cluster in it out of a six cylinder or something. I'm not a professional, so if one of you guys know, maybe dunk it right in the box down there because I uh, done changed the speed sensor on the transmission thinking it's probably on its 15th transmission. 200,000 miles, maybe the 16th transmission, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I had a guy tell me that more than likely they throw the cluster in it out of a six cylinder. I guess it's possible. These ECMs pretty much control these trucks. So A, if you got a speedometer that's reading 70 mile an hour at 60, obviously it's gonna shift out and overdrive too fast because the ECM thinks it's going 60 when it's not. And that's the only thing this truck does that's weird is every now and then it'll shift out and to overdrive at 40, 30, that 20, I'm lying. Anyway, I'll try to do better next time, but it just shifts out and overdrive too fast sometimes. Not all times, but yeah, about all time. Anyway, I'm going to get the speedometer right, and I'm going to get the temperature reading right, because if your temperature's not reading right, then the ECM don't know how warm your engines is. And then, you know, things like your EGR valves and your oxygen sensors and all that stuff that don't work half the time. Pretty much the reason all these check engine lights are on. And this one has a bold check engine light. Good thing they didn't back that up with a dinger binger. We would be in bad shape with Dodges. But anyway, I'm gonna go out here and drain a quart of transmission fluid out of this thing. I guess everybody wants to see the dog trick. All right, sit pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty. Yeah, there you go. She is camera shy, I will tell you that. I gotta go get her a snack now. I'll let you look at the Dodge. Dodge's a mess. I live in southeastern Ohio, so about this time of year, you don't need a car, you need a canoe. All right, give her a treat. That's Spam, by the way. She likes it about as good as anything. But I'll show you, we have been in a mess. I mean, it's just absolutely, try to step right there right now. You'll need a tow truck. Anyway, Old truck's not too bad, though. I mean, it's got a couple bullet holes in it. <sighs> kind of smells funny. But it's not bad. It matches that dog. <whistles> Come back here. Hey! She's camera shy. Truck come with Michelin tires on it. <laughs> I love Michelins. But anyway, afraid to lift that seat cover up, so we're not going to. But I'm going to go around here, and we're going to uh, get set up here to do the um, get a quart of fluid out of this thing. It's an easy way. A couple things you're going to need to start this job. You're going to need some tape. I, I don't never do nothing without it. Colt pieces of hose there. That's three eighths. If it's a little too big, I'll be all right. And you do need whatever prescriptions you're currently on. Now, I'm currently on one of these every about 45 minutes. 
So I normally don't drink when I'm doing mechanic work, but truck's not running and no one's here to babysit me. So I'm in good shape. So we're going to dive into this and we're going to probably splash transmission fluid everywhere, make a huge mess, but it's okay. So first thing I look at is where the transmission lines go into the radiator. And right here, this one has a cooler in it, which all these Dodges do, the hacked re-equipped. I'm going to pop this hose off here, stick a piece of brake tubing in this hose, and connect it with another piece of hose, which is there. And then I'm just going to slide a piece of hose right over that, and I'm going to run both of those lines straight down into that pan. That's probably going to serve as a huge reflector. And it's probably just going to spit this stuff right up in my face. But it's better than putting it in the old gravel. And if it spills in the gravel accidentally, you guys aren't going to sick EPA on me. So I hope it don't. If it does, the gravel's about 87 inches thick right here. So I can dig some of it up and put it in a barrel and ship it to your house. Just put your address down there in the window for complaints. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm already seeing the crossover pipe down there. The manifold pipe has been... Somebody just stuck a little 9 little nine sixteenths down in there and welded the head on it. It works. All right, I'm going to hook this up. You'll be right back. Okay. So really, all you got to know is which one it comes out of. So let's say it comes out of your top. You can just unthread that, screw in there a piece of brake line, run it down, put it against something that's going to splash it back up in your face. It don't even feel right unless you do that. Um, but I don't know on Dodges which one it comes out of. Don't really care to try to search that up or whatever because it's just easy to hook another hose up. Got them both pointed down at the ground. It's probably a good idea to put some tape on it because it's going to get a little floppy. So we're just going to put some tape on that. That's good enough. And now's when you get transmission fluid in your beer. So I'm just going to hit the key, let it start, shut it right back off. Because I want to see what kind of mess we got there. I've heard people say, you'll suck air in your transmission. No, you won't. So, yeah, I really don't see nothing. There's a little bit of fluid down there. We're going to give her another, another, one, two, three, four, four. that, however many seconds that was, we'll give it that much. I really don't want to wear it. I'm not at the garage right now. I'm at home trying to do this. And that's happened to go from the transmission line into the transmission, up and out to the transmission, then into the cooler. So as you can see, we're really not getting a whole lot right there. So it normally helps if you got somebody to twist on the screwdriver in here if you got somebody else to twist on the screwdriver you can yell at them see she matches the truck and let us go ahead and start her up here if it don't snap the crank off or something well that's weird first time that's ever happened Shut her back off. Okay, we got a little bit out that time. So basically that's it. You start her up and it'll pump her right out. It'll pump it through the radiator and right out your hose. And that's how you get your extra transmission fluid out of there that you don't want. Hope this helps somebody. Help, I gotta do the trick. About forgot it.
hope that helps somebody you're probably better off just take the actual transmission line off not the cooler line because that cooler is pretty big so it probably takes it a minute to actually get anything through it but come here come on get her to the grass she's getting old i don't like to make her do too much she gonna set pretty again that's a good one but we done seen that roll over that's right there you go roll over roll over roll over good girl good girl all right that's the kobu like i said if you want to buy the old dodge she comes with it she'll blend right in right about there